Hello everyone, today we are going to learn everything about vernier caliper. Vernier caliper is instrument for making very accurate linear measurements introduced in 1631 by Pierre Vernier of France. It uses two graduated scales, the main scale and the vernier scale. To that on a ruler, that slides parallel to the main scale and enables readings to be made to a fraction of a division on the main scale. It will accurately measure inside dimensions, outside dimensions, and depth of a hole. Let's consider it in the future of the video. Before going to the vernier caliper, discuss about calipers. There are three main types of calipers. Vernier caliper, digital caliper, and dial caliper. In these three types the process of measurement, the components used to measure, and the overall design go through are similar, but differing only by the way the measurement is displayed. We can distinguish these three by external appearance. Dial caliper has linear main scale and circular vernier scale. Digital caliper has digital display to monitor the reading. There are two advantages of a digital caliper. We can take the reading directly without any calculations and we can avoid the zero error from the zero or ABS button. Let's talk about the vernier caliper. It has both linear main and vernier scales and these are the main parts of it. Main scale, this is the static scale is recorded in the non-moving section. Vernier scale, can move along the main scale. Outside jaws, used to measure external diameter or width of an object. Inside jaws, used to measure internal diameter of an object. Depth probe, used to measure depth of an object of a hole. This is related to the vernier scale and moves with the jaws. Retainer, used to block movable part to allow the easy transferring of a measurement and used to slide the vernier scale along the main scale. Screw, used to lock the vernier scale and jaws. Let's look at how to calculate the least count of the vernier caliper. First of all, you must confirm that there is no zero error. How to confirm that? Bring the vernier scale to the zero position. Then the jaws must contact with each other. If the zero of the main scale and zero of the vernier scale coincide each other, there is no zero error. If you want to know more about zero errors, you can go through the above card link. This is the equation of the least count. Least count equals length of a main scale partition minus length of a vernier scale partition. You must remember this to calculate any vernier scale least count. Let's go through the equation. The first part of the equation is calculating the length of a vernier scale partition. These are the steps. First step. Find the coincide main scale and vernier scale position. In this example vernier 20th partition coincide with main scale 39th millimeter mark. Actually vernier 20th partition indicate as 10th. But you must consider the large marks as well as small marks. As an example, if scale indicates 7.5 mark you must take it as 15th partition. I will recommend this method to find the coincide partition. Second step. Count the vernier scale real length. From the vernier scale we cannot find the actual length of the vernier scale. So, from the main scale we can directly read the real length. In this example, the real length of 20 partition vernier scale is 39 mm. So, the length of a vernier scale partition is 1.95 mm. Third step. Calculate the length of a 1 vernier scale partition. Now you have the actual length of the vernier scale and number of vernier partitions. You can divide these and get the length of a vernier scale partition. The second part of the equation is calculating the length of a main scale partition. You must select this carefully. I will show the method from the example. 
In the example, the length of a vernier scale partition is 1.95 mm. After this value we can find 2 mm main scale mark. Then the indicated length of a main scale partition is 2 mm. First you must find the length of a vernier scale partition and then you can get the first to meet right side main scale mark as the indicated length of a main scale partition. Then we can calculate the least count. Length of a main scale partition is 2 mm and length of a vernier scale partition is 1.95 mm. Least count equals to 0.05 mm. Now we are going to discuss about forward and backward vernier calipers. There are two vernier calipers. From the appearance of these we cannot see any difference. But look at carefully the position of lines up scale numbers. When the first vernier caliper at 0th position, vernier 20th part coincide with main scale 41 mm line. This type of vernier calipers called backward vernier calipers. In the second vernier caliper, vernier 20th part coincide with main scale 39 mm line. This type of vernier calipers is usual. These are forward vernier calipers. There is a different methodology to calculate the least count of a backward vernier caliper. You can change the equation like this. Now we can follow the steps to find the least count of a backward vernier caliper. In example length of a vernier scale partition is 41 into 20 equals 2.05 mm. Length of indicated main scale partition is 2 mm. Least count is 0.05 mm. Step by step we have come to the most interesting topic. How to get a measurement from vernier caliper. Before get the measurement, you must consider about two things. 1. Least count. 2. Zero error. As I said earlier, we can use jaws and depth probe to get measurements. We are going to measure the outside length of a hexagonal nut. Now we are moving on to the previous vernier caliper. The least count was 0.05 mm and there was no zero error. A vernier caliper measurement has two parts. They are main scale measurement and vernier scale measurement. In this measurement you can see the vernier scale 0 passes the main scale 21 mm mark. So that the main scale measurement is 21 mm. And you can see the vernier scale 16th part coincide with a main scale part. So that we can take the vernier scale measurement as 16 multiply from 0.05 mm. This is the equation to find a measurement from vernier caliper. Measurement equals main scale value plus coincide vernier part multiply least count plus or minus zero error. The length of the nut is 21.80 mm. This is how to measure a depth of a hole using depth probe. Press the subscribe button and fly to the zenith of science with more video.